Hey guys, it's Kim. Kim, my name's Kim. In case you were curious, thank you for joining me for another video. And if you're new, then welcome. Y'all, it is Curly Miss Day 5. So, today is going to be my favorite black-owned brands because, you know, I've been very heavy into the black-owned brands this year, especially because of all the things that are going on. I just want to show my support. So, my top five favorite black-owned brands, they're not necessarily in order right now. Number one is Soul Tanicles. Y'all, I just... Just, I'm gonna link that video of me using their products. I think I might have a couple videos. I'll link those above. But that knot sauce, that knot sauce, that can't believe it's not butter. That Afrotastic curl elastic. Soul Tanicles is bomb. Okay, that's all I have to say. All their products make you want to go. And eat because they all smell amazing all of them not not one misses not one and I just bought two more Sultanicals products they're both like uh, cleansers so I will definitely do a video on both of those during this curly miss period yeah just gonna have to wait for that I don't know what day they are just gonna have to wait but um yeah cuz I just love Sultanicals I'm here to support I want everything you have give me everything everything that's it Number two is Mish Beauty, y'all. You seen it. The video before this was Mish Beauty. And like, my wash day consists of Mish Beauty like 90% of the time. Like, their products are bomb. Their stylers are bomb. Like, everything just gives you so much moisture. Even the strength and conditioner gives you a ton of moisture. And I'm like, it, it's not fair. It's not fair. And just like Sultanicals, I got some Mish Beauty products coming in soon. I asked for them for Christmas. So somebody getting me those. Somebody getting me those. Because, like, it's just, they're just amazing. Everything is a hit. Like, no product did I try. And I was like, mm, it's not for me. The shampoo was more of a co-wash. Cool. Now I got a co-wash. Like, what? <laughs> There's no problem. I have zero problems, zero complaints. They ship fast. Their products all smell like freaking candy, like you walking into the dang candy store. And it's it's black owned. The the woman who owns it, her hair is beautiful. They they're very interactive on social media. Like there's literally nothing bad I have to say about Mish Beauty. Nothing. I even tried one of their deep conditioners on my brother's hair and his hair came out popping. Like what in the world? Like it's it's like they take it over. Misha's taking it over. And now I see they got body scrubs and body butters. Best believe I'm going to get me some of those. I want everything that has Misha's name on it. And that's on period. Number three is Curly Bell. I did a video with their products. And unlike a lot of products, I continuously use those. Because, like, they're just, they smell good. They work really well. Now, one thing I have noticed is that there's not much um, holds on their cream like I think it's like a twisting cream there's not much hold on that but I can look past that what I just need to add a little gel okay I'm pretty sure they have a gel anyway might have to pick that up but like that's not a problem for me that it ain't no problem it ain't no problem and their deep conditioner worked really well their leave-in was very very moisturizing and I just love them and that's that <laughs> Next is Frolicious Naturals. That video is from a little bit uh, longer ago. I think it was in the summertime. But <clears throat> if y'all haven't seen that, you need to check that out because my hair looked so good. I didn't really um, enjoy the gel or the custard or whatever it was called too much. But everything else was a hit. They have a shampoo bar, tingles your scalp, smells like mint, bomb. The uh, leave-in conditioner... No, let me stop. Ooh, I skipped the best part that they have. That regular condition that they have is a deep treatment and nobody can tell me otherwise. I don't want to hear argue with somebody else because that is a deep treatment. I put it in my hair, left it in for like as long as I was in the shower and then rinse it out. Girl. Girl. That thing was bomb. Hair was so moisturized. Like that's one of those products that I'm like, hmm, don't feel like deep conditioning today. 
but still getting a deep conditioning you feel me that's the product i go to that's the one because who else but that who else and their leave-in conditioner was very moisturizing hard to get all these products were hard to get out the bottle now they were hard to get out because they're thick and creamy as heck like you might have to warm them up a little bit just to squeeze it out. I literally just took the top off and popped because <laughs> that's all I could do. Anyway, number five is Eden Body Works. Now, they have not been on my channel since the very beginning, but best believe I still use all those products. And I even added a, a I got their co-wash. I've had it before, but I just got that again and they have like a curling or styling gel that i put on top of my of the cream that i use like it's a, it never misses it's a never miss for me now granted i haven't tried like all their products and stuff i did try their like mint shampoo or peppermint shampoo that thing is a clarifier y'all need a clarifier go hit up Eden Body Works for that peppermint thing because I was like, baby, this is not okay. And then I tried one of their deep treatments. I don't remember what it was called, but it has a brown top. That worked really well too. Like everything, it's just straight moisture. Like there's no explanation for how much moisture all those products still bring me to this day. Like at all. Like I just, I don't know. <laughs> that was my top five black owned brands. Um, this is not any hate towards any other ones that I've tried. These are just the ones that have really came to play for me. And I'm definitely not done trying some. So, you know, this may change next year. But because I, I plan to continue to buy black as much as I can. So, that's all I have for you guys today for Curly Miss Day 5. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let's see. What should you comment today? Tell me your favorite childhood uh, Christmas memory. Yep. I want to know your favorite childhood Christmas memory. That's all I have for you guys today. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a cousin to tell a cousin, and I'll see y'all in the next one. 